Hey Zdravo, Borut Petrlin here. As you know, I'm working on a wet plate collodion manual and uh, uh, my principle is not just to take three manuals and write the fourth one, but I want to do my homework. I want to understand the process, I want to do lots of tests and I want to share it with you. So, in today's question is how does a temperature influence the, the wet plate collodion process? So basically, I started with zero degrees or minus one degree Celsius, room temperature, and then also plus 30 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, I've done my homework. See what we have here so number one number one is basically just a te step test you see it's too bright uh, step test i always advise you to do step tests number two is basically classic temperature was 14 degrees celsius developing 25 seconds and uh symphony trade was 11 degrees celsius number three i just raised the temperature of symphony trade and developing was was the same, 25 seconds. Number four, I raised the sylvanite trait to 30 degrees Celsius. So you see this is room temperature and this is 30 degrees Celsius. So it got totally fogged. And I thought, you know what? I can actually manage. So this was developing, what was developing? Uh, developing 25 seconds. Yeah, it was developing 25 seconds so, or 20 seconds, something like that. So of course it was fogged. So I thought, you know what? I can just shorten the, the developing time. It will be fine, but no, it was it's horrible. It's still, so this is something that I've learned, you know, that um, if it's 30 degrees Celsius, you have to cut the developing time. So, I mean, the sensibilization time. Number six, I it was again 30 degrees Celsius, but sensibilization was only one minute and 45 seconds. And developing was 12 seconds. But you see this? What is this? What do you think? This fog here. Come on. You should know. So as you can see, the fog is, is sharp. So which means, and it's not throughout the, uh, throughout the plate which means it's actually the dirty plate. You see here is another, another corner that I didn't clean well. I don't mind the, 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 the dust, only this corner, you see? So when the fog is sharp, it's dirty plate. Anyway, so, so this one got really nice, but the, the plate was dirty. So that's why I said, you know what, I have to repeat. So basically the difference between this one and this one, I the sensibilization time is 
three minutes and this one was one minute and 45. You see the difference? So this is, if it's really hot, you have to cut the sensibilization time, not only shorten the developing time. So number eight, okay, and number eight, okay, this was done the next day when it was really, really cold. I mean, cold was like, so this one is zero degrees Celsius, sensibilization time six minutes, developing 30 seconds. And I thought, you know what, I can push it a little bit more. So I did push it a little bit more. So all the all, all is the same, but this one was 50 seconds developing. So it's better, it's brighter, you see? It's brighter, you see here and here, it's brighter. So anyway, so, and then the last one is this, the number 10. So the number 10 I've done as I would do, is I would do like normally three minutes developing, I mean, three minutes sensibilization, 20 seconds of developing. And of course, it's not enough time, you know, the, it's not enough time for a silver nitrate to deposit, to silver to, de to deposit and silver nitrate to catch on. So here we have, ladies and gentlemen, this is plus 30 degrees Celsius. And this one is uh, at the freezing point around zero degrees Celsius. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, my homework for my wet plate collodion manual. Um, all this stuff is important, you know, to understand the process, because that's what I said. My collodion manual will be different. I will do my homework. I uh, Just today, Facebook reminded me that I've met Mark Osterman 10 years ago, and uh, I wrote on my Facebook, that event was a tipping point of my career. And yes. I was right. This collodion manual will come out, I don't know when, because if I'm honest, I have, for the next half a year, I have really a lot of work. But I am again at a tipping point. I really feel great. I really feel in a working mood. And as you can see, I have something to say and something to give back to the wonderful community of Wet Plate and YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to my patrons who are supporting me, especially in the last half a year when I was going through the rough times and you stick with me, so thank you so much. I will, uh, I will not forget and all of you will get rewards from me. Thank you.